traded in the Honda CBR 600 for Suzuki 750 GSX-R 750 this is a 2016 so I jumped from a 2008 to 2016 um, I'm gonna take out for another ride I drove it about 150 miles back from where I bought it um, and I can notice that it's a big difference everything from suspension to braking um, it has 6,000 miles on it uh, which is pretty low for it and uh, I just noticed that it's a little bit more uh, you can become one with the machine um, it's very fluent it feels more like you're attached to the actual machine itself uh, the, the CBR I always love but this one I just like the riding position it's a little bit more aggressive a little bit wider but I definitely can feel the difference and obviously you get more torque with the 750 um, but it kind of uses I guess the same type of engine I don't know how it all works I don't know the lingo of it all but uh, it came really super clean it has a couple couple scratches here and there but nothing too bad brand new tires uh, apparently these are really good tires Michelin um, I just installed the battery tender in it today um, took this off but uh yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful bike. Uh, I'll keep it for a while. Um, any suggestions on this bike, like any mods that you guys suggest, let me know. It also came with the uh, M4 exhaust. It's just a cat back, though. It's not a complete full exhaust. I don't know if I really want to put in all the time to put an ECU and all the power commanders and a dyno tune. Um, I'm kind of getting too old for that. <laughs> uh, but it, it runs smooth. It's not as loud as my other bike, and I kind of like it like that. So, uh, it's got these great little shorty levers on it. Um, th the one thing I was a little bit scared about, the first time I bought a GSX-R back in 2000, it was a 2008, or 2007. I took it out from the dealership. I bought it used and the brakes locked up on me because the pressure they had crappy chinese brakes and the pistons weren't correct so when you start running you push you push in the clutch somehow it all the pressure goes into the pistons here and it locked the front brakes and since these bikes don't have any anti-lock brake system guess what happened out of nowhere going straight my bike locks up and turns all the way to the right, shooting me off the road and ending up in the hospital with a torn labrum, had to have surgery. And that's that was the biggest thing that kind of stopped me from riding for probably eight years or so. But um, this one is fine. These shorty levers, where I got them from, CRG are apparently really good. And I took it 150 miles, so it's fine. Small little scratches here and there, nothing to be crazy about right there, right there. And where's the other one? Right here. Oh, what is that? I see some stuff right here. What is that? That's not showing up. Oh, that's the background from the trees. But you see that little scratch there. Other than that, it's not bad. Um, I traded in, so I only paid 4500 for it not a bad deal for 2016 but there she is she looks great or should this be a male should this be a boy you tell me